Hi guys, welcome to another week in my life vlog. I think it's the first time I've talked today. Today is Valentine's Day, which means tonight I'm going to the Casey Musgraves concert. I'm so excited. I'm running late, so I'll talk to you guys after, but, and by late I mean just not 10 minutes early, as always. My new puffer is from H&M, by the way. It's so cute and it's like long and I love it. Tim McGraw in Starbucks right now. This is the best order ever. All right guys, I went home, I showered, I changed very quickly, and now I'm at Dry Bar. I'm getting a blowout because we have Casey Musgraves tonight. It's Valentine's Day, by the way. Go shop the Breadwinning Housewife merch. We have new crews, a pink one. We have the really cute quarter zip. If you're gonna get the quarter zip, get it oversized and then wear it over leggings, like that's cute. Or you can get the quarter zip with the matching sweats. We also have our little tumbler. We also have baseball caps, which you guys really requested. My voice, I have to record something and I don't know where it went. Why does this always happen to me? I literally, I didn't even do anything that would make me lose my voice this weekend, I don't know. I actually didn't even go out at all on Friday, which is pretty good for me. I don't know where my keys are. Found them. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit one second. I mean, you can't really see it, but I have this puffer on. That's from H&M, and then this, like, cowboy crew. That's from Sisters and Seekers, and then just, like, my normal product loafers. spent the past like two and a half hours recording that episode. I am in a rush. We're getting our makeup done at Presley's by Presley's sister who is a makeup artist in Dallas and she's like by far the best one. I'm not just saying that because I'm biased. Um, she just actually is the best one. Um, but I need to pack all of my stuff very quickly. I'm gonna be using this pink like Balenciaga bag. So cute, I'll show you guys in a sec. All right, I am actually in a rush, I'm never in a rush because I'm crazy about being early. This dress is from Revolve. I'm switching into this pink Balenciaga. I haven't even worn it yet. I've had it since like December. It is so cute. I hope that's not a problem going into American Airlines. I feel like it will be fine. I'm going to call an Uber and go over to Presley's because we're gonna get our makeup done. Oh, sorry. Um, if you guys are in Dallas though, her sister is incredible at makeup. Hire her. She's who I like the only person in Dallas that I really use. She's so good. Actually, really in general, like she's my favorite makeup artist that there is. I don't even know where I put my phone. Oh, here it is. Look at me getting ready with my little breadwinning housewife tote bag. The episode I think was great. So I'm excited about that. I think you guys are really gonna like it. The ultimate breakup guide, all right? It's titled My Breakup Was the Best Thing to Ever Happen to Me. We made it to Casey. I got my green drink, by the way, at American Airlines. Section 120 at high stakes. Uh, my frozen green mug. I didn't think that's what I was getting. My outfit is my favorite outfit I've ever worn. I don't think I've ever been happier than I am at this moment. Living our best. Guys, her outfit is incredible. So cute, oh my God. So good. I was telling Presley, I've been to every single Casey show since like quite literally 2012, and that was the best one. 
We got merch. It was so good. It was so good. Kiss also, there were really hot guys sitting next to us. Yes. Not next to us, but like near us by themselves. One so it seems like my Casey, type. One eye was on them. Yeah, yeah literally. <laughs> And I was like, wait, they're actually, when did either of us ever point out hot guys? I know. Actually, really? Never. 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 And they were hot. So um, I was really upset that nothing happened there. But anyways, great show. My voice is shot. Here's my merch. I got the last of the camo shirt. Guys, I just got home to this. Does this not look like your parents staying up and waiting for you to get home? Oh, hey, girl. I mean, look at him. All right, y'all. I was about to take my makeup off, and I just wanted to give you guys a better look. Again, of the outfit, we were, I was just kind of rushed, so I didn't really get to show you guys. This dress is from Revolve, and I had my, it has these cute little straps. I had my little pink Balenciaga bag that I loved. And then just my vintage Harley Davidson boots. This is one of the merch items I got. Ignore that chair. Everyone has that chair. Anyways, I got the very last one. Um, this is my makeup. Wow, I feel like a Barbie today. Anyways, I've been feeling very fabulous lately because I've been getting my makeup done by Kristen Farah. Anyways, I'll have her Instagram link down below, especially if you guys are in Dallas. Also, she just has like good makeup and smell on her page, but anyways, this is the look. I'm gonna go to bed. What a good Valentine's Day and a good Monday, if you will. Cannot wait to be home as much as possible tomorrow. Normally, Monday through Wednesday, I just wanna be home and not see a soul and not do anything. Um, but when Casey comes to town... Good morning, guys. I'm back home. I didn't love my blood yesterday. I got the old-fashioned. Trying to change it up, and I don't know. Also, I always like my hair second day better, but I'm gonna go to Hot Pilates, so it basically just ruins your blowouts. That's why I normally get them on Fridays, because they don't do Pilates on the weekends. I'm wearing this new set from Year of Ours. The bottoms are my favorite cut. This is like the best workout stuff ever. Like I live in here of ours. And then I just put this vest on. I put this vest, I'm putting vest on everything because it makes me feel fashionable. Um, this is from H&M. The concert last night was so good. I stayed up pretty late reading. Um, I'm currently making toast. I'm gonna head off to Pilates soon. And then today I have a lymphatic drainage massage. I think that's what you call it. I've never gotten one before. I've always wanted to. I've heard they're like miracles, like life changers. I have been drinking this. It's the um, Greens and Superfoods and Citrus. They're a sponsor of the podcast. I've been drinking it every morning and I have been loving it. So anyways, I have a Dolly mug. Very fitting. That's one thing about me. It's always either a Dolly or a Texas mug. Perfect timing. I love nut pods. I am simply not awake. I don't know if this is a me thing or if this is like a 20s thing or if this is an anxiety thing my anxiety i will say at this point for the past like month has not been the best i've had days where it's not as bad um but it's definitely been like a little bit worse just in the past i want to say month i feel like i wake up every morning with like some sort of anxious pit in my stomach almost not like a breakup anxious pit but like I'm just like a steady stream of anxiety is like how I describe it and I'm just constantly feeling like I'm not doing enough or like whatever I'm doing isn't good enough or I don't know and then I will on the other hand when I'm in a good mood I feel like I'm on top of the world and like living my dream life and like have a great career and doing great so there's really no kind of like in between but I've just been like down just not and not even necessarily like hard on myself always it's like Sometimes I'm just like down. Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm just not, I don't know. It's been, I don't know. It's been kind of weird. Also, I wonder if this has to do with starting to watch Netflix again, even though I love Friday Night Lights, because I normally read so much at night and that calls me down so much that I don't know if I realize how reliant I was on my anxiety or maybe that's not even tied together and it's just a like, coincidence. I don't know. I literally have no idea. I think I'm gonna declutter my closet today. But the best thing about having these bar stools, my new ones here, is that I actually use this area. So I'm going to sit here and journal and read a little bit, and then I'm going to head off to Pilates. It's me from the car again. I'm sorry, guys. I went home. I showered. Um, I changed, and now I'm going to the Talks, which is just off Lovers. 
It's right there. I finally opened in Dallas. I've always wanted to go to one of them. I have always wanted to go. I always see Melissa Wood Health getting lymphatic drainage massages, and I'm so excited. If you're in Dallas, check them out. I'll share with you guys my experience, but I am so excited. My voice is shot. I loved my massage. I might be putting myself on vocal rest for the rest of the day. So I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow. I'm just gonna be working and organizing. Good morning guys. My voice is kind of back. I've been eating these quick fresh meals and just come and deliver it to your house and you put them in the microwave for two minutes and they're actually really good. I good morning guys. I put this set on from Year of Ours. I just got it. It is so cute. I have not been eating well. Um, my little brother is here and we ordered Wingstop and I just been like obviously door dashing a lot and all of a sudden I'm breaking out. All of my meetings today actually got canceled, which is so nice because I have so many things I need to do around the house, starting with decluttering my closet. Um, I have my glow in this little Starbucks mug that Netflix sent. These are my favorite like to-go mugs besides the Bread Winning House Life one. Okay. Anyways, you're of our set. Um, I'm going to put this box treatment on and I'm going to go and declutter the closets. I'll time lapse that, but it's gonna be very satisfying. I'm gonna set a timer for like 35 minutes and then just go through because it is just, it's, it's out of control. I'll show you before. I need to put tanner on my face, but the tried and true Mari Vanescu spot treatment. Basically my closet, it's just like overflowing right now. It's just overflowing, and then I have so many things in here. That's also in bathing suits that I was hiding, but so many things in here that I just don't wear. So I'm going to go through and just kind of actually get rid of everything that I don't wear. Same thing in here. I mean, the hardest thing is jeans. I have so many jeans that I don't touch. Um, and I'm going to make myself do that. I'm going to set a timer for 35 minutes, and actually, no, I'll do 30. This message comes from NPR sponsor, so you can accept all kinds of payments with still here because this is stuff that I need to put in here when this closet is done um, that's like merch samples I have more merch I have newly um, and those are just like boxes and books and whatever this I've cleaned up I got rid of so much stuff I moved some of that over here drink all my nutrition um, I got rid of a ton of tops I don't know if you can even tell Anyways, that is good enough for me for the time being I'm feeling good and then I love this puffer, by the way, that I got from H&M. Okay, and then I'll be donating two bags of clothes. I'm feeling good. Kenna, cutie. Oh. Oh, oh my she god. She may not even like it. No, she's, I, got, I gave her one before. Aw. <laughs> this is Kenna, my brother's dog. If you guys remember when we first got her, I had her for a few days. She's grown so much. I have one thing that I will show you early. Well, I, I kind of always show you guys things early, but for Bread Winning Housewife, I've been getting samples for our summer and winter drop, and we are expanding, if you will. Oh my God. 
But if this is what I think it is, this is like so exciting. Oh my God. Guys, you are going to die. But I don't understand. You're not even married. You know, Cody, I don't even hear that from you. That's what? not the point. That's, I don't understand. What does it mean? It's like funny. Yeah. Like I do things that like a breadwinner would do and I do things that a housewife would do. Mm. It has nothing to do with being married. Oh, well, I heard wife, so. No, anyways. Oh my God. I love it. All right, my little brother just left. He came over last night and then it's now like three. I have been just working at my computer all day. Sometimes my life is just so uneventful and I go work out, I come home, I work, I grocery shop, and then I hang out with my friends and I don't really vlog my social life. So I'm like, what am I supposed to vlog, you know? Anyways, uh, my voice is kind of coming back. When I force it, I'm breaking out all around my chin, which is really annoying because I just haven't really been breaking out. I was actually thinking the other day how my skin was like perfect. And now, um, probably just because I had that thought, you know? Anyways, Glam Glow sent me a new mask. I know that like, I feel like Glam Glow is pretty controversial in skin. I haven't used it since I was probably like 19, 20. But I really want to try it. Tonight I'm going to Pilates, which I've actually never gone at night. I always go during the day. Anyways, I wanted to just try this face mask. I'm gonna self-tan tonight and then I'll feel um, a lot more me. I actually like really haven't been doing baths from home, which I feel like I used to do so many of them. Also, do any of you guys, have any of you guys gone into slugging, which everyone talks about nonstop? It makes me wanna do it. Well, I'll let you guys know how this goes. I put that mask on for 10 minutes. And my face is bright red. You know what? I think I used this mask years ago, and that's why I stopped using as a whole. Because there's actually one mask, or there was one moisturizer from Glam Glow, I want to say, that was like illuminating that I loved and it smelled so good, but it was just like expensive at the time. Um, and this is the one that doesn't do well with my skin. Um, so, love that. Alright, I'm going to Pilates. I don't want to go at all I literally never work out at night but I'm going not because I am disciplined but because I made plans with a friend to go so I'm going like it was just it was crazy oh my God. Like a lot of repetition in that book but disappointed I just feel like, I don't feel like he ever would have been mad at her or blamed her ever. I, that would be like five of like the trend of like sleep with their dad. So heartbroken and. morning everyone that sounded like good morning millennials didn't mean for it too but anyways I just filmed a video this morning has been such a good morning I have Pilates at 11 30 um, it's currently at 10 01 I woke up I made some coffee I made my drink I the glutrition thing um, I made some breakfast I sat down I read and I journaled and oh my god I say it every time but the mornings that I make time to do that incredible I have had such a hard time waking up early recently. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because it's cold outside. I feel like it's easier for me to wake up in the summer because it's warm. I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, I've been off of, not off of that, I've been doing it, but like begrudgingly, like I don't want to do it, you know? Honestly, my brother coming here midweek, I'm glad that he did because we just needed some good old time together, but it really got me off my routine. Anyways, this is what I'm wearing right now. I have a set active set on because I'm going to Pilates. I have a sweater, product loafers. Um, oh, I wanted to show you guys this. I actually have, oh, that's today. Um, I mentioned recently that I love Oswell, my journal. That's what I've been using every day. We did this journal retreat when we were in Malibu in like September last fall, and it was so incredible. Like, literally, it was just like incredible. I don't know how to describe it. I, you won't understand it unless you go through one and then you will agree with me, but it's very hard to explain if you haven't gone through it. Anyways, they saw that and they sent me stuff, which is so nice. So I have more journals 
And then I think these are like postcards, right? It's so cute, okay? And then the deck, which is a write and draw like journaling prompts. Anyways, they also offered me a one-on-one -on -one, like journaling consultation with Laura today. So that's this afternoon. But anyways, on the agenda for today, I need to import this, do some work, and like an hour and a half, I go to Pilates. After Pilates, I go to therapy. I come home, I shower, I need to do like some sort of like purple treatment on my hair right now. I washed it last night and like, you know when you just wake up with it and it's weird? It's the worst. And this afternoon, I have the journal consultation. And in between this, obviously I have to do work. In the afternoon, I have the journal consultation. And then tonight, I have my second laser appointment. I'm getting laser right now and it, Honestly, has already made a huge difference. Only one appointment in, and you're supposed to do like six to nine. So that's really crazy. This sweater is from Revolve. I love it. I just got it. I'm going to live in it. I can tell. My favorite sweater that I own. All right, guys. I got some work done. I'm about to go to Pilates. The best thing ever. It's from H&M. So is the vest I've been wearing all week. I mean, what good purchases. Like, when I walk the trail tomorrow... This is what I'll be wearing. I mean, it's just fabulous. We're off to my last Pilates class of the week. I still haven't changed my bag back to my black one. So I've been walking around with this bright pink bag all week. Kind of like makes you happy though, you know? I'm out of therapy. I feel like I talk about this all the time. I feel like I'm probably annoying when I have like my cheesy moments. But I was just walking out of my therapist's office to all these texts from these people that I love for like weekend plans and just things and a missed call from my brother and just I, like so many people on my phone that I love. That's also just like plans and ways that I've wanted my life to look for so long and just projects going on. We all had a horrible 2020 and I feel like 2021, 2021 was also really good. I just never want to forget that like I actually feel while uh, not everything is perfect that I am, that I'm in a place that I wanted to be in for so long. I was going through just like a lot, like a lot of family stuff was going on, a lot of stuff in people's, a lot of stuff in my own life and other people's lives around me. I don't know, I just had this moment of like, oh my God, we did it, like we survived. And everything that I really wanted is actually like has come to fruition. I don't know if any of that made sense. I was in a really bad spot for a long time and it's not that everything is perfect now, but I just had this moment of realizing like I'm living in the days that I was looking forward to that was like my light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm just so grateful for like my life and the people in it. And I just feel a lot better. Um, but yeah, anyways, therapy was so good today. Some crazy stuff happening. You know, when you're like, oh my God, I cannot wait to go to therapy this week. I have something to tell my therapist. That's how I felt. All right, listening to my favorite podcast. Just got cocaine. I'm actually really excited. There's really nothing like a shower after a workout. You just feel so accomplished. I have some editing and work that I need to get done. And then I have that cute little journaling consultation thing. Look at how good that looks. You can use my DoorDash code, which is in my description. And you get, I think, like $20 of credit. So you can get like a free meal delivered to your house. Hi, Miss Kenzie. Hi. Or you can just pick one at random. Okay, I picked this one. Okay, great. What does it say? It says write, or sorry, it says make a list of 10 things you like about yourself for bonus self-esteem points, make your way to 30. And what does the draw side say? It says, hey, you're looking, draw the things you like most about yourself. Guys, I had such a fabulous, literally me in the winter is me putting on and taking off a puffer, but I had a fabulous journal little like workshop it was incredible if you guys um have not journaled before you need to i feel like a huge focus of this channel and just my life in general is that like i don't want to settle in life that's why i'm a very curious person that's why i'm always reading i'm always journaling i'm going to therapy i'm trying to learn and just like get better not in the way of like the cheesy like live your best life way but like also i, I do genuinely want to like live my best life and journaling really helps me do that because it makes me a lot more aware and I live a lot more intentionally and it makes you think deeper, it helps you identify things that make you happy, you know, make you unhappy, whatever. But I did want to show you guys these because I feel like I am going to be obsessed. I'm already obsessed, but I haven't gotten to do it on my own yet. It's the Oswell, um, the deck, writing and journaling cards or prompts. I'm gonna try out drawing. I just feel like I'm more of a writer, but like, we'll see. Like each card, right? So one of them says, go to the mirror. What does the person you see have their 
have it there to say and then it says go to the mirror and draw yourself in one continuous line without lifting your pen from a paper what okay so oh sorry it's a writing prompt and a drawing prompt then it says what kind of person do you want to be today you know i would love this danielle would love this deck i need to send one to her and then drawing it says draw out what you want your day to look like include at least five specific objects what would you want a younger version of yourself to know write a letter to that person um, it just like, keeps going on and on. I don't want to give you obviously all of the props. I loved it and I just think journaling is really important I talked to her also about how I have this issue where like part of me wants to just be on a ranch at all times And the other part of me wants to be like working in New York City like there's just there's some sort of disconnect there um, I also think that's just like balance and stuff But I want to be able to like combine the feelings that I get in both places because I love both Anyways, it was really good. I'm like really colorful these days. I need to change my bag and just some lazy Actually, we're gonna change it now. I literally have two of the same bag just in different colors. I feel like this summer I'm going to be living in with my pink bag, but I'm going to get laser. It's my second appointment. By the way, laser is incredible and doesn't hurt at all. Last time I got it, I literally thought like when she went back to be like, okay, get dressed. I was like confused because I thought she hadn't even started. I thought that was like some sort of prep because there was no way it didn't hurt at all and it like literally didn't hurt. When people say it feels like rubber bands, I wouldn't even say it felt like that. Like it, it was the best experience, so much better than a Brazilian wax. Actually, I genuinely thought that I possibly didn't get the treatment until my hair actually did stop growing and like definitely came back a lot like lighter. Anyways, if you're considering, I would highly recommend it is like a Brazilian wax is like probably 20 times more painful I think than laser was anyways I'm really cozy right now off to this appointment. I ordered luncheon. Oh not focused. I love that Look at me like will I start wearing real clothes? You know good question. I'm home laser was nothing by the way I got one of those massive boy smells candles. These are so expensive. It doesn't even look that big on camera like this is a coaster This is the candle Massive. Obviously, I had to get the Cowboy Kush one. It smells really good, and for whatever reason, a really big candle just like gives the illusion or makes me feel like I really have my life together. So, I'm back home. I'm about to make my favorite recipe. I made it last night, but I couldn't really talk because I was on book club. Which, by the way, book club was great. It was so much fun. If you want the information for the next month's book club, we are meeting mid-March, and we're reading the new Lucy Foley book, The Paris Apartment. I have a little bit more work done. I have a little bit more work to get done, but I'm gonna make my favorite meal. Honestly, the other best feeling is when you have like worked out and had a full great day and then you're home by yourself cooking your favorite dinner. Like it's just unmatched. Anyways, this is like an eggplant, brown rice, Parm pasta. I think I bought it from Melissa Wood Health. And I used to make it legit all the time. This is the gluten-free um, brown rice pasta that I use. It's really good. And obviously eggplant. I bake the eggplant at 425. Um, 10 minutes total. I flip them on their, I flip the sides at five minutes. And then you guys will see, but like it is the best thing ever. It's so good, oh my god, I just, I love it. Happy Friday guys. I'm not really gonna vlog much today just because I'm doing laundry and I'm gonna start a weekend of my life vlog But I wanted to end this vlog off by giving you guys a little book update update I feel like I'm back in like the swing of vlogging after like yesterday I've been in this like vlogging rut where I feel like every video I've posted is just sucked and like I forget how to talk to a camera and then I don't know what to I don't know there's been something off, but I'm feeling better. Let me know what you guys want to see in the vlogs. This weekend we're going to Billy Bob's. Tonight we're going to Catbird. 
um, a true like Dallas, Texas weekend in my life, even though like obviously Billy Bob's is in Fort Worth, but you get what I'm saying. Anyways, a little update if you will. If you guys have any questions about my Kindle, I have so many posts on Instagram. I have an Instagram highlight about it. If you ever need book racks, it's all over my Instagram. Um, definitely follow me there. So I read Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier. I love her. She is honestly probably my favorite thriller author. Thriller author. I got the sample and I was reading it and it kind of like rung a bell and I was like, oh, maybe I read the sample and I didn't read the book for some reason. Then I bought the book and I'm like 30% of the way in and I remember that I read the book. But it was like a hundred plus books ago. Weird thing is that I actually finished that book on February 17th, 2021. And then I finished it again, February 17th, 2022. Anyways, actually, I'm glad that I reread it because it's a really good thriller to recommend. It's really good with twists. The thing about Jennifer Hillier's books is that they're not very predictable. I don't mind like young adult i don't mind like romance ya books being predictable because that's you kind of want them to be predictable you want them to end up together with a thriller obviously you don't want to know what's happening and i would say this one has really good twists and turns so i really liked that one i started rocky Paper scissors last night i'm only about 15 percent of the way in and then right now i'm reading obsessed building a brand that people love from day one and I'm about 21% of the way in that book. As far as like branding books go and like business books go, I'm actually really enjoying it. I think it's really helpful, obviously, with the Okai and the clothing brand that I'm starting. I just have like really enjoyed it. So anyways, that is my book update. I haven't been reading as much as I normally do. Um, I'm reading 60 books this year and not 100, which is still like, I know a lot, but like I read all the time. That's like what I do. Um, I'm still on track, but I feel like I just need like a pep in my step. Leave a good book rack below. The problem is at this point, I've read like 170 books or something like that in the past two years. So like most recs I've read. So I'm having some issues with that, but um, so many good books coming out this year. Taylor Jenkins Reid just announced a new one coming this year. Obviously, Emily Henry has a new one this year. Um, Tessa Bailey, her, I think it's actually March 1st. That's like the next one in the, why am I forgetting that book name? It happened one summer. I cannot, that's like one of the best, I love that book. I don't know why I'm forgetting it. Anyways, and then our book club book obviously comes out, the Paris apartment like on the 22nd. So I'm excited to read that. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm feeling back in the swing of vlogging. I'm feeling better, finally. So I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Well, I think the first thing is recognizing that it is really scary to be alone, especially when you're going through like a trauma or grief or, you know, after a breakup or something. But I think if you can, you can kind of reframe it as an opportunity to grow and to just under kind of understand things better.